When I say Dundalk, you say Al's Dundalk. Wait a second, where are all the freshmen? Oh, that's right. We're going virtual for the first semester of your high school career, and it will be one of the best semesters of your life. <laughs> Welcome to our newest out. I'm Miss Albert and I'm the proud assistant principal to the incoming ninth graders. Welcome to early entry day. This day is designed specifically for you. You will have a virtual tour of the building, Dundalk. Along with you will hear advice from fellow peers and then finally you will have the opportunity to meet each of your teachers so you can be successful this school year. Now I'm going to introduce you to the best administration team in Team BCPS. Hi, I'm Larissa Santos, proud principal of Dundalk High School. It's my pleasure to welcome you to Dundalk High School. We're looking forward to having you join the nest. You're going to meet a couple of people that are going to help support you along the way. Hi, I'm Andrew Deming, 10th grade administrator. I'm Lindsay Rattet, the 11th grade administrator. Manuel Andre, 12th grade administrator. Dundalk proud, Dundalk strong, one out. Over your next four years of your high school journey, we will be there to support you, push you, and challenge you as you strive for excellence in the pathway of college or career success. If you need anything, please know I will be there for you. Please enjoy the virtual tour along with advice from your fellow peers. Hey, incoming ninth graders, I'm Chuck Roast, your host with the most. You'll be seeing a lot of me over the next four years through commercials and instructional videos produced by the guys down in DHVM AM. Welcome to the Commons. This is going to be the first place you stop when you come to Dundalk High School every morning. Check out these trophy cases. It features our long and storied past of Dundalk High School going all the way back to the 1950s. There's some really amazing stuff on display in here. Just a few more steps and you're at the main office. Stop by here if you have a question about your day. You can get information from any of our secretaries, the financial assistant, or an assistant principal. Maybe even Ms. Santos herself. Behind me is the Dundalk High School Library and Media Center. Stop by to check out one of our thousands of books on topics that interest you. I'm in the gym, but it's August, so there aren't any events going on today. Just you wait though, this place will be rocking with the sounds of screaming Dundalk Owls fans in a matter of months. Dundalk High School Fitness Center is open daily to help students keep in shape or to train for fall, winter, and spring sports. The Dundalk High School weightlifting facility is open to students regardless of your ability. From beginner to intermediate to advanced, stop on by and pump some iron with your friends or with members of the football and wrestling teams. Welcome to the chorus room. We use this room for daily choral instruction, guitar class, and even after school for some private choirs and tutorings. Behind me you can see some of the backdrops from our famous Dundalk High School plays 
brought to you by the DHS Drama Club. Our state-of-the-art auditorium at Dundalk High School is home to not only our instrumental and choral music programs, but also our drama club and our dance ensemble, which uses this room as their classroom. Check out some of our productions during the year. This is the guidance office. Stop by guidance for any scheduling needs, mental health concerns, or college assistance. See our professionals like Mr. Sheffernacher, who will aid you on your journey. We're in the Tech Ed Wing and this is one of our many 3D printers. Our Tech Ed program is top notch and features some of the most amazing tools in the business today. You can learn how to use a 3D printer like this or our industry standard laser engraver. Can you meet the design challenge and build your own dream home? The Dundalk High School Art Program features intro all the way up to AP. Join us on our Dundalk Cluster Night where we feature art from elementary, middle, and high schools in the area. Learn how to develop your own black and white photography in our dark room. Chuck says join the environmental club when you can work in our greenhouse. Work with the science department teachers to turn ordinary pots of dirt into fantastic plants including flowers, peppers, tomatoes, and other things that we use to beautify our grounds. The Interactive Media Productions Lab features state-of-the-art computers running the Adobe Creative Cloud software. This room looks into our fully functional TV studio. Students can produce videos of all types using green screen technology to put them in different places. Counselor, I'm so excited to meet you. This is Dixie. She says hello. I'm looking forward to a great year. You all are new. I am new. It's going to be a wild ride, um, plus coronavirus, but we're going to make it happen, and I'm so excited for this year. So welcome to Dundalk. Can't wait to get to know you and talk to you soon. Good evening, guys. My name is Josh Mahamza. I am a 12th incoming 12th grader at Dundalk High School. Um, I, I'm involved in soccer, tennis, and um, clubs. I'm involved in our speech and debate. Uh, I was involved in Model UN, Model Congress, and I'm this year's current student member of the Board of Education of Bournemouth County. Hi, everyone. My name is Kamal. I go to Dundalk and Scholars. I'm currently a senior at both of the schools. I'm an allied health installer, and some sports I do are volleyball and tennis. Hi, I'm Kayla. I'm a senior at Dundalk High School and Sobbers. I'm in allied health, and at Dundalk, I'm in SGA, SAD, and varsity soccer. Hi, my name is Melanie Flores, and I am a senior at Dundalk High School. I've been involved in tennis cross-country, track, model UN, and student government. And also, I am the Secretary of National Honor Society. Good afternoon. My name is Jose Portillo. I go to AP Math. I'm an incoming 10th grader. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Good afternoon. My name is Muhammad Kayouch. I am a 12th grader. I live in the National Art Society, and I still am a member of the National Art Society. I play tennis. Okay. So first things first. Um, hi, incoming freshmen. I hope you guys are excited because it is your first year of high school. And I know, like, with everything going on, especially, like, starting virtually, you guys are the very first generation, I believe, to start virtually, like, your first year of high school. So I just want to say that it'll be okay. You might have some ups and downs, but you will get through it. I promise. All of us got through it. So I think you will, too. Yeah. Uh, just just piggybacking off uh, what Kamal just said, I think it's really important that um, you don't uh, feel discouraged because we're starting off virtually. Um, you're not alone. Alone, uh, Everybody um, is here to support you. But um, I'm going to give you advice of what I did uh, when I came into high school. Uh, I think uh, I was I, I had something in mind of what I want to do uh, after I finished high school. So that means I was working towards going to college and a certain um, career field. So right off uh, ninth grade, I, I was taking certain classes. So AP classes, um, higher level classes and uh, getting in, involved in certain clubs because that was the career field I wanted to be involved in. And uh, also it's really important to do extracurriculars. Um, like I said, sports, I, I'm involved in sports. Uh, others are involved in other activities. Uh, Mono, uh, National Honor Society is a good avenue. I think pretty much a lot of us are involved in that if we are academically focused. So yeah. So yeah, freshman year is probably like tough to adjust to. Um, personally for me, I went to a different high school my freshman year and then transferred halfway through and it was tough for me to again adjust to the whole different environment. But I, I want to say don't take your freshman year for granted. Um, it does get harder as you go, especially junior year is tough. And I couldn't do some activities that I really wanted to do because I wanted to focus more on my studies. But um, definitely take advantage of freshman year if there. I don't know what really is going to go on with school or activities. You do probably online. But if there are activities and clubs that you can join online, just take advantage of those. That's all I say. Just take advantage of your freshman year, even if it is virtually. It will still be a good experience for you. These four years in high school will go really fast. So, like, Melanie was saying make the most of it like don't miss out of on anything and if you want to it might be hard to get involved right now like virtually but when the chances are there do it freshman year is hard for everyone especially this year since everybody's going to be doing virtual learning I think it's best to just focus on your school work and you should be able to do just fine And honestly, don't even overbear yourself or overstress yourself because, yes, studies are very, very important, but you should also take time to focus on yourself and, like, make new friends because high school is a whole new experience. So even though you can't see people in real life, you can always contact them through social media, Instagram, like, you know, all of that, and just try to build friendships. Like, I know middle school, when you move to a new school, you might lose a few friends, you might, like, have drama or whatever, but it's time to like rekindle those friendships or at least make new ones that will last a lifetime. So freshman year, my favorite memory was making new friends because I went to a different middle school that wasn't around here. So I didn't really know anybody coming into Dundalk. So the friendships that I've made, like that was my favorite part of freshman year. For me personally, my favorite part of freshman year was um, getting involved in tennis. So beforehand, because I had transferred to a new school, I really didn't do anything. I mostly stayed alone to myself and didn't really talk to people. Until I joined tennis, I was able to form new friendships and get more involved in my school and get to know more of it. But I think that was a good experience for me, my freshman year. my favorite memory of freshman year oh was i guess like since i went to solars or i still go to solars you have like two different schools to adjust to so like kayla and melanie mentioned before like getting involved with both of your school environments or at least like outside of school in school and like you start to make good relationships with people not only coaches teachers but also students as well 
So like throughout your years of high school, you start to like rely on them or like go, you like see yourself going back to them for like more support. But I feel like one big thing that I would change or if I had to redo my freshman year was do a lot more because I know in freshman year, I only did like volleyball, but I wish I got into clubs like student government, um, SAD and like something more, something that puts me more out there or that I feel like I could have, you know, help my community better. But yeah. Yeah. Um, I think my favorite memory of uh, freshman year and uh, off throughout my high school uh, career was just the teachers I met and the students I met. I, I think I'm one of those students who uh, likes to um, challenge uh, their uh, knowledge of things, uh, whether it's um, ed- in the education, whether it's in culture or uh, what's happening around the world. I think I like to talk to different people uh, and found out what their opinions are. I think that's really important. Um, well, I would change, I think it's uh, similar to what uh, Kamala said is just trying uh, more things. I think um, I kind of structured uh, my high school uh, career uh, from the beginning and I think I followed that path, which is always good to stay organized and uh, uh, focus on that. But I think you should also um, do other things like uh, uh, could give you more personality or something uh, as something you might enjoy. So whether it's art, um, try art, uh, whether it's music, try music, whether you never even played a sport, maybe try something. I think uh, every single sport team is going to have that one person who has tried something. So just uh, putting yourself out there is important. My favorite memory from freshman year is when I got honor roll for the first time. That really inspired me and motivated me to keep pushing forward and to keep doing good in school. And honestly, if you keep motivating yourself, you're going to do good. So like we said earlier, um, high school will go by really fast. It will, it's going to pass by really fast. You won't even notice it. You might have some times where you're like, oh, like, oh, I wanted to like hurry up, you know, but like, don't be afraid because now I'm a senior. I don't want to grow up. I don't want to go to college. Like, well, obviously I want to go to college, but I don't want to, you know, focus on adult things so while you're like in that little like kid mind and your teenage mind just go with the flow and just you know enjoy it well yeah go out go out go out out. good luck guys um you're gonna do great I hope you enjoyed your tour and your advice from your fellow peers. Remember, they were once in your shoes. Now you will get to visit each of your classes virtually. Please remember that you need to be in your BCPS login versus your personal login. When you log on to Schoology, there should be a nickname that you click on to access your class. If you have any questions, please call the school. We will be there for you to help you. Welcome to Dundalk. You are officially an owl.